Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about transverse waves. Last time we talked about longitudinal waves and for the video for the longitudinal waves just click on this link here. So transverse waves. If we have a string like that attached to a mass and this mass was pulled down. So, string will relax and the mass will go down like that. Then it will move up again to its resting position. Then it goes upwards, so the string becomes compressed. And returns again to the resting position, and so on. So it forms a curve like that. Here, this is a transverse wave. Why is this called a transverse wave? This is called a transverse wave because the body moves up and down from its equilibrium position as we can see here. It moves transversely. Transversely. That's why these waves are called transverse wave. Here the body is attached vertically to a string and it's pulled downwards so it moves up and down from its equilibrium or rest position. This is called a transverse wave and as we can see the curve of this wave is drawn like that. We can draw the curve So the curve looks like that. Here, this is the rest position. So the body moves upwards, then downwards. Upwards, then downwards. So, or this may not be the beginning line. We may draw it like that. So, when the body goes upwards, it makes an amplitude. So this is an amplitude. And also, this is an equal amplitude and there is another amplitude and here the complete oscillation is the distance between two successive crest and top crest this is called crest and this is called trough so the distance here is measured as we said that the complete oscillation is uh, when the body moves at the same point twice successively in the same pathway of motion. So here is the first time and this is the second time so the complete oscillation stops here and another one begins from this point. So this is a complete oscillation and also this is the wavelength of the wave distance between two successive crests and troughs is called the wavelength.
So, this is the transverse wave. It's called the transverse wave because it moves transversely up and down from the equilibrium position. And uh, we know how to graph this wave. And this is it for today. The next time we will put the differences between transverse waves and longitudinal waves in one video. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you.